Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ECD fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, CD is uh, 7 units and moreover uh, this side length uh, AD of this rectangle is being represented by 4x whereas uh, this segment uh, EB is uh, 3x and furthermore uh, this angle uh, CDE is uh, alpha and likewise this other angle uh, CED is uh, alpha as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ECD please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are dealing with these uh, x's, so therefore we must find the value of x uh, first. And now let's focus on this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ECD. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle alpha and this angle alpha are uh, congruent. And since uh, this uh, triangle is isosceles, so therefore uh, this side length uh, EC must be equal to this side length uh, CD. In other words, these uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, congruent. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 7 units. So therefore this side uh, EC is going to be 7 units as well. And moreover, uh, this side length of the rectangle uh, AD is uh, 4x. So therefore, uh, this uh, other side length BC is going to be 4x uh, as well. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, EBC is going to be 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3x, uh, 4x uh, and this hypotenuse is 7 and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and here in our case our hypotenuse is 7 and our two other legs are uh, 3x uh, and 4x so let's go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 3x uh, whole square plus uh, 4x uh, whole square is going to be equal to 7 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 9x square plus uh, 16x square equals to 49. Let's combine these like terms on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 25x square equals to 49. And now I am going to divide uh, both sides uh, by 25. And here we can see this 25, 25 is uh, gone. So therefore our x square value turns out to be 49 divided by 25. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. And here we can see this uh, square and square root uh, undo each other. So therefore uh, our this uh, x value turns out to be equal to the square root of 49 is uh, 7 divided by square root of 25 is uh, 5. So thus our x value turns out to be 7 divided by 5. And now since our x value turns out to be 7 divided by 5, so let's uh, substitute this uh, x value over here so that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, 7 uh, divided by 5 uh, over here and if we simplify this one that is going to give us uh, 28 uh, divided by 5 so thus our this uh, side length uh, AD turns out to be 28 uh, divided by 5 and now let's focus once again on this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ECD and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height 
and in our case the base of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, is uh, seven uh, units and the height uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be same as uh, this uh, ad length which is uh, 28 uh, divided by 5 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, triangle area formula so it's going to be a half uh, times uh, our base uh, is uh, 7 uh, times uh, our height is uh, 28 uh, divided by 5 and now we are going to multiply out uh, the right hand side and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 196 uh, divided by 10 or uh, that is going to be equal to 19.6 square units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ECD turns out to be 19.6 square units in other words uh, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be 19.6 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye